My favorite framework product actually probably is So this is a tough one because almost all of the most technical consumer, most technical employees in Framework are using either Ubuntu, Fedora, or NixOS. I'm mostly on Windows because we need actually people to be using Windows because our, our employee base in Framework and they're we're all they're all Linux users. And so to make sure that the Windows experience is like good and solid and really robust, I and the designated Windows power user to go and, and pound on Windows to make sure Windows is really stable. Uh, I do also have a machine that's up and running on the latest Ubuntu 2404, um, which has been actually really solid as well. I am an Ubuntu user normally. Um, I've been using it since whatever it was, I can't, it's just, I'm so old. It was the first version that came on the on the CD, or the, uh, and uh, I, I was on Debian before that, and it was, Ubuntu came out as this like miracle where like, oh, you don't have to do like any setup at all. You can just put in the CD and install it and it works. Um, and so I've kind of been an Ubuntu user on and off since then. I started using Linux in, let's see, 2000, 2003 or 2004 and I actually did it to host a website on a little must have been like a 386 uh, de power desktop in my bedroom to run this little website that I was running and then from there I started playing with Linux uh, basically pretty consistently since then there was a lot, you know pretty long periods of time where I was basically only on Linux and I've rotated around different OS of course I'm on Windows right now so that's somebody you can test Windows my current framework laptop 13 with this new Intel Core Ultra Series 1. Um, I actually, probably every time we release a new set of updates, I go and start dog fooding them, I start testing them out. Um, and so basically my, my favorite laptop continues to evolve uh, because I've just been replacing it piece by piece over the last three or four years. Um, but you know, I love the new display, the new webcam is awesome. Our new actual thermal performance and fan performance on the Intel series is pretty amazing. Um, and of course, uh, you know, got my favored expansion card configuration, two USB-C, one display port, and then using this SD one really for testing purposes. I don't particularly use SD that often, but it's been quite useful actually for 3D printing as well. The new webcam was pretty challenging. We, I think we are probably the first ones to be using this image sensor. Omnivision just released this like pretty advanced new image sensor relatively recently. I think they might have released it last year, started shipping it last year. I don't think anyone else has used it in a notebook before. And one of the challenges with notebooks broadly is for the webcam specifically is that the image sensors are pretty terrible. Like, you, you know, you look at laptops and you think like, why are these so bad? Our, our cell phones have these incredible cameras, incredible image sensors, and we're stuck back in the stone age on these laptops. And part of the reason is that people are trying to squeeze this bezel to be so tiny and they're sacrificing image quality in the webcam to do that. And the image sensors that are available mostly are on these like incredibly old technologies. And so Omnivision looked at that and decided, okay, we're gonna fix this. And so they released this new 9.2 megapixel image sensor that really actually does take all of that latest and greatest smartphone focused technology and finally brings it into a laptop focused image sensor. And we were, as far as I know, the first ones to ship this, which means that we did have to go through some of the learning curve on bringing that image sensor and bringing that, uh, you know, the interface chip up to speed to make it work in a laptop. The whole team at Framework that worked on this product is just incredibly excited to get this out to you. Everyone was just super passionate about perfecting this product year over year. And really, I think we were getting there. We're, we're pretty close to perfect on this thing. And so we really can't wait to see what you think of it.